Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Geneforge. So, um, we are entering this area for the first time. Obviously I have not been here and have no idea why so much of the map is already discovered. That's unusual, but I guess I can just see through solid rock. Anyway, we just uh, walk out here. Let's see if we get a greeting message. Oh, hello, Drake, who I've never met before. Um, hmm, interesting. She seems to think that we've met before. Oh yeah, right, there was that awkward ending to the previous episode, wasn't there? Okay, well, jokes aside, I, um, yeah, uh, I, I guess I, I told the story as such as it is uh, last time, but um, yeah, I kept just, you know, the, the conversation kept going for a little bit longer than I wanted to, and, you know, I uh, couldn't really remember who Gut Gutch even was in the first place, which, uh, you know, seems silly in retrospect. Uh, of course, I have since remembered that he is simply the uh, the other shaper, the first shaper that uh, Drajkov somehow managed to... Uh, abduct and bring here to uh, to help him activate the gene forge, but uh, who refused to do so and instead escaped and holed up in here, or rather in the temple next door. So, and I think that's basically the extent of what I know about him, uh, unless I'm not entirely sure if maybe some of the rebel Shodai told me a bit more about him. But, I mean, ultimately, we, we have never met him. We don't really know what his motivations are, um, except that he's probably also trying to get off the island, or maybe he's... Um, I don't know, maybe maybe he has... Uh, he's, he's trying to use the, um, the artifacts and power that this island offers for his own ends. Who knows? He does seem to be more of a traditional shaper, in that he has, uh, you know, no problem using the already existing creations here, as well as the ones that he creates, uh, you know, to do his bidding and for his advantage. Not that I'm not kind of doing the same, but I mean, at least I feel bad about it, so um, that's better. Anyway, um, yeah, so, uh, right, and we can continue from here almost the same, just ignore some of these new dialogue options where we'll get to that in a moment. Um, the the really lucky thing is that um, Rekis walks off after this conversation. And on a complete whim, I just decided to take a look, take another look at at this area here after having kind of decided to go to the to go see the temple first. But I just returned here, and it turns out that she just walks up to you again and um, starts the the conversation over minus the starting paragraph. So um, that's extremely lucky that the game allows me to do that, and that's why I decided to to do what I did with that you know tacked on ending. And uh, yeah, so let's just pretend that we have this conversation for the first time. So she basically just told us that we are in danger. And right, so what sort of danger am I in? Even now, my Drake servants have begun to hunt you. When they find your scent, they will hunt you relentlessly. Why have they turned on me? Because the other shaver, Gertsch, was here before you. When he fled into these hills, he met me. He soon saw that I would not obey him. Instead, he bought my alliance. I have commanded my drakes to destroy you, but because I still feel some gratitude to the Shapers for my creation, I will give you this warning. Leave now, and you will be safe. Right. Uh, well, we'll see about that. Uh, what Shaper created you? I was. It was long ago, and not important. His name was Defniel. He fled this island and left me here. Alone. Okay, so one of the very old creations. Well, I guess, well, not necessarily, but... Well, I mean, obviously, she's been here since uh, since the days of the old Shapers. And she was created by one of the leaders himself, for what it's worth. So Gert bought your help. How? Well, I mean, with money, presumably. My kind, as created by you, has a lust for money. Your shapers tried to breed it out of us, but to no avail. Gert offered me gold and jewels, stolen from the Sholai. I accepted. Can I, perhaps, buy safe passage from you? Um, still a little bit annoyed that this is the only option, just as it was before. Um, especially since this is her reaction. Rekus grins. Your shapers are not as proud as I remember you being. Such crass trade with a mere creation? I am amused. Yeah, well, again, I I possibly would not have chosen to say that if I had had another option, but oh well. Still, I owe Gurch no great loyalty. If you give me 3,000 coins, I will instruct my servants to be less aggressive in chasing you. Uh, less aggressive, but not not aggressive. I mean, that seems like a really bad trade-off. Um, at, at this point, the game offered me... Uh, the, uh, to, to ask how I would possibly get that much money, um, to which she responded that she would trade with me. Um, I mean, she's willing to sell me things, which is not going to help me uh, amass more riches, 
needless to say. She does have really nothing particularly amazing. A living tool that I'm honestly kind of tempted to buy, but then again, I don't really want to give her money. Uh, pacification one for, with one charge, slow, I mean, that seems really bad, especially for the exorbitant price. Ring of the Eye, um, curse resistance, mind effect resistance, I think we've, have we seen one of these before? I'm not sure. The Charmed Falcon is kind of, or, is it pronounced Falcon or Felchon? Uh, Felchion, Fel, Falcon. Whatever. Uh, it's kind of interesting in that it gives four extra stealth as well as some resistance, but, uh, well, minimum me melee skill seven, so obviously not even an option. And I wonder if this is even that good of a weapon that maybe a melee character would consider using this. I mean, someone who wants to use stealth to get past things? I guess, sure. Definitely an interesting option. Of course, you'd have to you, you you'd have to invest in melee skill, but I guess that might be worth it after a certain point. Hmm. Anyway, um, right. So yeah, that's one thing. Obviously, we can also sell her things, which I'm actually just going to do. We have this robe here. We have quite a few valuable things. Okay, that was not worth as much as I thought it would be. But I guess that's fine. Um, the thing is that most shops have... Uh, that I've already sold so much stuff to most shops in the game that uh, they've run out of money. There might be a few here and there that still have a little bit, but that's definitely... In that way, the money you can get is also limited because all the shops only have so much. Anyway, that's that. Uh, so I could pay her, but I'm just, you know, not going to do that, obviously. Um, maybe if, if they'd actually turn peaceful, so I just don't have to slaughter them, but then again, I kind of do want the experience, which is also one of the reasons why I decided to uh, go here first, after all. Uh, I was originally thinking that maybe I could, I could, you know, once I meet Gurch in his temple, we might actually, uh, you know, get to an agreement, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe we could be allies, after all, and maybe he could order these drakes to not hunt me, and they turn peaceful, but then again, you know, do I really want that? Experience is experience, right? And they're also going to have treasures, and, you know, if I kill them first and then become friends with Gutch, uh, he's probably not going to hold it against me, right? Uh, since he wasn't exactly friends with these guys after all, he only bought them. So, yeah, either way, this uh, I think this might be the better approach. So, um, tell me about Gutch. I met him over a month ago. He was fleeing up into these hills, escaping the Sholai and leaving traps and creations behind him, yeah. A slightly excessive amount of traps, perhaps? Oh well. Once he saw that I was a free creature, a rogue in your terms. He spoke with me fairly. Then he continued on. Right, spoke with you fairly. I mean, that indicates that maybe he's not so different. He might be a, you know, slightly progressive. Um, but we'll see when, once we actually meet him. Where is Gudge now? He's to the west, in the temple, the largest building in these ruins. He's on the other side of the ruins of a city. If you see him, you may be able to talk with him. He seemed irrational, so... Hmm, I, I mean, that sounds promising. We'll see about that. We'll also see if there is a direct connection between this area and the temple. I mean, there kind of has to be, unless... You know, otherwise, this doesn't make any sense. If he was fleeing through the tomb, leaving all the traps behind, and then through this valley, and is now in the temple, uh, there kind of has to be a connection. Which is good. Um, right, another question. Now, what do you know about these ruins? If you're, you know, while you're still helping me. When the Shapers were here, when I was created, these ruins were already ancient and infested with ghosts. The Shapers used these deserts for dumping at first. Uh, they had just begun to explore the inner desert and learn its secrets when this island was barred. Inner desert? Hmm. I'd like to know more. Knowledge has value. Right now I see no reason to give it to you. Oh, and by the way, just out of curiosity, I had I have already tried putting on the that leadership belt before talking to her. She's still not willing to give me that. Maybe if I actually paid her off, she'd give me some extra info, but I mean, I'm just not willing to pay 3,000 coins for possibly some some lore and, you know, having those the drakes here be less aggressive, but still aggressive. That's just, I don't know, that just doesn't make any sense to me. Anyway, I guess that's all for now. I could tell her, you know, that I will not submit, but even that, I, I tried that as well. That does not make her hostile. She just, you know, I guess I could just say it. I will not submit to you, rogue. Do your worst. 
The creature shrugs in re its reptilian shoulders. I will. If you survive, I will speak with you again, Shaper. Yeah, I don't think this really changes anything. Well, there we go. Save the game. And I don't know if the if those promised drakes will start chasing me down immediately. Um, there is this obelisk, but there is no marking on the map yet. So yeah, this was not going to be one of the obelisks, unfortunately. But there well, still might be one here, obviously. Um, I'm still hoping for that. This large obelisk used to have numerous inscriptions on it. They have all been worn away. It also used to have something set in the stone at the tip. Oh. It has been pied, pried out. Probably with a knife. Okay, I mean, with something. Doesn't really matter with what. Huh? Oh. Also, we have um, several ghosts here. Oh, and we do have a drake. A cryo drake. First one we met. Level 14, okay. Um, not a lot of health and no resistances whatsoever, which is unusual. Uh, can the rest of my creations reach this thing? I'm not entirely sure, actually. I hope they will. Otherwise, I might be in trouble. Okay. So, it's looking good, honestly. Yeah, you're not going to be able to do anything. Um, please. Okay. And they're worth 14 XP. Not bad. Save the game. I was gonna take a look at these. Oh, there are, oh, there are more of them. Okay, that's actually quite a few. Hmm. Do they all have the same stats? Looks like it. Okay, well, that works for me. In that case, why don't we do the good old daze them and pick them off one at a time? Strategy. Um, I missed one. Is that right? Seems like it. Yeah. Okay. We should be able to reach this one. No problem. Okay. I'm honestly with how weak they are. I'm kind of tempted to just use area damage. That might be a terrible idea. But then again. What the heck, right? You... You only live once. Well, that did not go so well. You know what? Maybe it's a good thing that we... Uh... Uh, actually, you know what? Hold on. Forget what I just said. <laughs> so long as we miss entirely, um, they're not gonna wake up anyway. I was not expecting to to miss as much as I am as I am, honestly. Not really sure what's up with that. They are below my level after all. Um can I walk around you and reach this one instead? Yes. There's another one, wow. Yep, sure enough. <clears throat> nice crit. Okay, everyone move up. Oh. <gasps> wow. Okay, and of course, the final one, at least for the time being. And just to deal more damage to us than all the other ones combined. Which is not that hard, considering the other ones did not really do any damage to us. Well, except for the very first one. Okay, well, that's what I get. Just heal off out of combat. Um, it seems like no more are coming right now. That's good. So what about these ghosts, actually? Quiet Shades. Level 13. Okay, pretty unexciting. Can we talk to you? Uh, the Shade doesn't respond to you. It doesn't even know that you're here yet. Hmm, ominous. So if I move deeper into th this area, are they going to turn hostile? I mean, they're not that bad, so even if they do... Ah. <clears throat> okay, this large obelisk used to have numerous inscriptions. They've all been worn away by years of wind and weather. There's also a stone set into the tip. Interesting. So someone pried out the one from this obelisk, but not this one. Hmm. You inspected 
more closely, it's a gemstone. It's a massive ruby set into the tip of the obelisk. You could easily pry it out. You notice, however, that there are several small runes carved into the stone below the gem. Yeah, could I maybe in, in, investigate, inspect those closer? Because I feel like something bad is going to happen. I mean, that's pretty obvious. I did quick save, right? What the heck? Okay. Just a normal ruby. It's easy. You take a weapon, knock a huge gemstone, the huge gemstone out of its setting, and pocket it. So unfortunately, not any kind of special item. Hmm. And that did anger the ghosts, understandably. Huh. I mean, I'm guessing it's just... Yep. Sure enough, just a ruby. Uh, I mean, this... I don't know. I, I feel kind of bad about it, but then again... What the heck, right? It's... Not magical. Not special. It's just... A gemstone that was sitting here. Not doing anyone any good. Can we reach you? Yes. Yes, we can. Okay. I was hoping for a really good hit, and the acid do doesn't work through the square. Can even reach you for a melee attack? Huh. Okay. Must be getting... Oh, okay, there are more. Must, get, must be getting really close to that level up, though. Yes, extremely close, in fact. That's good. Um, let's wait... Okay. Mm, I might be able to hit them all like this, maybe? Okay, good. Mm, I suppose you can stun this one again. So we can focus on this side of things. Of course, well, I'm gonna kill this first one. Maybe if we can Get another really good hit in. Oh, yeah, well, that might be good enough. Good. So we only have this one. Attacking twice. We got lucky there. You'll attack this one. Oh, there is even more coming. Okay. Well, that's what I get for being greedy, I suppose, but not a big deal. Okay. You should have been stunned. I guess, you, I guess it was stunned. Except that they get their two actions. Okay, I leveled up. That's nice. Um, oh, unfortunate. Should have... Really? Now we start missing. Oh, that's an Angered Shade? Wait. Oh, they've all turned into Angered Shades. Or maybe these spawned in addition to the Quiet Shades from before. Maybe. I wasn't really paying attention if... If the first uh, ones that I killed, the ones that I killed previously, were still called Quiet Shade. Hmm. Well, either way, it doesn't really matter all that much. I hope. Okay, yep, yeah, they can leap and deal quite a bit of damage, and yeah, 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 okay, that's what I get. Of course. Poor Nira paid the price once again. It's fine. Death is only temporary. Nice. Okay. Days resisted. And no double attack this time. Well. And that went so nicely, except for the part where Nira died. <sighs> oh well. I guess I'll never know if those angry shades, those additional shades, just spawned in after I pried out the stone, or if they had already been standing around as quiet shades somewhere. Maybe. There are more of these little alcoves. Ultimately, it doesn't really matter, I suppose. I mean, if... Oh, okay. There's one more. Ex again, with no map marker, so... Most likely not interesting to me. 
Oh, a massive ruby. I mean, surely you regretfully leave the treasure behind. Only temporary game, only temporary. Um, I'm guessing that I dealt with most of the, if not all of the ghosts. Hmm. As well as all the drakes, seemingly. So I think this area might be pretty, pretty much cleared at this point. You enter another ruined crypt. There are inscriptions on many of the walls, all written in the lost language of the extinct natives. The walls and floor are covered with frost. Whether this unnat unnatural, unnatural cold was caused by the cryodrakes or is what originally attracted them, you can't be sure. Right, let's maybe not head in there quite yet and focus on the open area. This might lead into the temple? Yeah, sure enough. Let's actually confirm that maybe. Although that, that is going to reload the map. Maybe, I don't know if I want that. I think I want to keep exploring like this. Oh! Strange pylon. Um, okay, is that the same as the others? Cliff walls have sheltered it from the wind. Notice part of the pillar has been worn down. Right, no extra mention of them facing north or anything. But this is the n northernmost one that we found, right? Kind of? It's also in a in an icy area, so let's touch it. You don't feel anything special. Okay. Might be a hint. So, I still think that the uh, that the mention of um, of all those depicted figures facing north indicates, or I don't know, it's more logical to me that 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 uh, means that they are you know heading north, so starting south and you know going going north, touching those pylons. But I guess it could also mean that they are looking north at the starting location. I mean, again, that makes less sense to me, but I, uh, it did occur to me that it could be intended that way. And, you know, the, the fact that I was getting that, uh, I don't know how it was described, that I was felt basically in a minor electric shock or something when I touched the, uh, the wrong ones or the other ones, um, that that was probably intended to, to indicate that they were not the right one to touch. So, it's, um, since this one did not expressly not do that, um, that seems to, seems pretty, pretty strong indicator that this might be the correct one to start with. It's here. Thought Pit. Oh, another, oh, I see, another location for a potential wandering monster that, yeah, you find Thought Footprints all over there, all around this trash pit. So, is this maybe another with a special item like that spiky orb not orb okay at least in this case it's marked on the map and there is a message about it so this is definitely another wandering monster area so uh, yeah I guess I'll I could use this to oh it literally just appeared here out of nowhere or maybe it's it was wandering around but it, it looked like it literally just plopped into existence so maybe it's not a matter of reloading the area, but just standing around and it'll, those, those wandering monsters will just appear in their location, even when you're looking at them, which is kind of weird. Huh, Orb Shade. Yeah, I mean, this is a little bit stronger than the Starving Thought last time, but it's otherwise... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Similarly weak, and it indeed seems to have dropped another one of these. Odd Spiky Steel Orb. The other one was a silver orb, right? Close inspection reveals that the carved that is carved in the shape of a simple crescent. Okay, so that's the same. We have two of those now. They might be the ones. They might actually be the items you you need to put into those pedestals in the Shaper Crypt. I mean, I have no real reason to assume that, since the pedestals or panels themselves did not really. Um, the description didn't really indicate that the items. Uh, that you need should be crescent shaped or really anything, any particular shape. But I mean, if I don't find more of these, now that I do have two of these, two almost same items, I am tempted to go back and and give it a try. Probably off camera because you know going through those stupid respawning um, constructs is a pain. But um, I think it's worth a shot at this point. Anyway, 
Wow, okay, so all of these are going to have more rubies. Yes, yes, I did not pry out this one. But, I mean, my... Honestly, I have... I don't see any more shades. It seems like I've dealt with the ones that were on the map. I guess I can look around the rest of it just to make sure that I'm not missing anything. But, um, maybe there are not going to be any more. Maybe the rest of them are just free for me to take. And it seems a little bit too easy. Yeah, I mean, it's, it seems like there were more quiet shades in all of these. Alright, yeah, otherwise... It, oh, never mind, there's something here. Hmm. Okay, someone's been living in here, perhaps? There is a coat rack by the entrance. Yes, okay. Some supplies. Uh, some of which I'm not even allowed to take, which is curious. Out, out here in the middle of nowhere. Okay, some fresh water, presumably. Although, would it be really that fresh? A little pool inside a inside a cave. I guess it could be. Oh, learned helm. Helm, helm. Were we not told about other, um, like hermits? Like that one I met a long, 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 long time ago. All the way... Actually, not that far away from here. Uh, the Peaceful Vale. Yeah. Not far away uh, geographically, but very far away in time that I visited there. Okay, that's unexpected. Uh, you meet an old, hunched, servile hermit. Despite his age and physical weakness, he, is a strange authoritative... he has a strange authoritative aura around him. You have to remind yourself that you're dealing with a creation here, not an equal. Really, game. With difficulty, the hermit stands up straight when you enter. I am Helm. Welcome to my cave. What are you doing out here? I prefer to live alone, to think, to give advice when, when advice is sought. I used to live close to the cities. No longer. Their, si their sects have gone mad. Mm, I mean, to various degrees. But, uh, yeah, I guess. Each sect began with a grain of wisdom. But that grain has, in each case, been blown away by the wind of rigidity and fanaticism. Yep, I mean, the Awakened aren't very fanatical or mad, honestly. Hmm. Why did you move here, of all places, though? That seems dangerous and inconvenient. Also, a nice kind of swastika-shaped cavern. Just observing that. The rogues, the warfare, servals versus, serval versus serval, the outsiders, the madness... I had to leave. To come up here was dangerous, though the shades of, this, of these ruins did not for some reason attack me. It was a terrifying journey. Now that I'm here, I will remain until Senator returns to Susha Island. Oh, okay. Well, good luck with that. Uh, what do you think of the Awakened? They want equality from the Shapers, but the Shapers will never give it. Uh, I guess in that way they are... I mean, they're idealistic. They know that it's not going to be easy or possibly possible, <laughs> maybe. Um, but I think it's still noble to, to strive for that. You have to have lofty goals or you're not going to achieve anything, right? Hmm. Not just how your kind... It, it's just not how your kind can think. Well, I mean, I'm, I hope that I'm the living um, example as to the contrary, but oh well. They're questing for the impossible. Hmm. Still, it doesn't strike me as so terrible that you couldn't possibly, you know, stand to live near them. What do you think of the Obeyers? They worship you as gods, but you are not gods. There is no truth in this path. Yeah, I agree. What do you think of the Takers? They wish war. War is not necessary. They throw in with your enemies. This path will only get them destroyed. The fire will burn everyone on this island. Right. I Again, I agree. Hmm. Well, uh, what can you tell me about these ruins? They are very old, but I'm sure you know that. They are full of capricious ghosts that often attack outsiders, especially the ones that pry off valuable gemstones. <clears throat> that much is clear as well. To the west, you will find the core of this ruined city. There are many living chambers and living chambers and shops and an enormous temple. What do you know about the temple? There is another shaper there. I don't know anything about him but his name. Gutch, as I've decided to pronounce it. I have never been there. Too dangerous. Too many shades. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the ghosts near here. They are peaceful. 
They leave me alone. It is possible for raiders and thieves to anger them, though. I've seen it happen. Gruesome. The ghosts themselves don't have any treasure. Usually. Uh, usually? Sometimes I see a wispy thing blowing over the wastes. Uh, it's holding something round. Never been able to get close enough to see what it is. Uh, could it be this steel orb that I have on me? <clears throat> Not that I want to. Right, right. Fair enough. Um, another question. Uh, do you know Rekus, perchance? Oh, come to think of it, we haven't really seen Rekus. So unless she retreated into the script or whatever? I'm not really sure. I mean, she must be hanging out somewhere, right? She did say that she wanted to talk to me again once I, you know, <laughs> dealt with... I mean, I don't know if she really wanted to talk to me, but she indicated that we would meet again after I dealt with the drakes. Hmm. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, do you know Rekus? We are cordial. Oh, really? I was able to convince him. Um, Nylock said that it was supposed to, to be a she, but oh well. That I was not no threat. He respects my wisdom, and I respect his age. Mm, that is all. We don't chat. Okay. Uh, you're strangely confident for a servile. I mean, I kind of don't want to say this, but then again, I want to see what he has to say, so... Perhaps. Perhaps I am. I have spent my life learning how to best communicate, to convince others of my point of view and my good intentions. I have, in the past, shared my rhetorical gifts with others. Convincing others of things is a skill. It can be learned. Yeah, I mean, I know. I've invested in it. Would you teach me your secrets? He nods. I can. I can teach you for a donation. Give me 2,000 coins and I will tell you some of what I know. Really? I mean... That's expensive. But... Ah, what the heck. You're a hermit. What would you do with all that money? I would use it. Turbulent times are coming. We servals will need to interact with others. We will need to, tr need to trade. When that time comes, I will use your donation to better the lot of my kind. Okay, I mean, that's good. I was kind of hoping that there would be an option to haggle him down, and I was totally going to back out of the conversation, put on my leadership belt, and see if I could, you know maybe succeed with that one on, which would be kind of ironic. But it doesn't seem like that's an option. You know, that's fine. I would like you to teach me how to be more convincing. I think that's worthwhile. Yeah, it's only I was expecting only one point. That's certainly quite expensive, but, you know, it's fine. Helm has you sit down facing him. Then he begins to talk. He tells you stories. He tells you of his life, of the servos, of the trials they suffered since your people left. Uh, you pay careful attention, not just to what he says, but to how he says it. His calm, hypnotic voice and mode of phrasing is very useful and interesting. You learn a lot. Hours pass swiftly. Then you stand and thank Helm for his help. He looks very tired. Forgive me, Shaper. Now I must rest. Fair enough. Okay. And just to make sure... Yes, okay. I was not actually using my non-combat items this whole time. At some point I started to second-guess myself, as I so often do. Okay, well, that was useful and expensive, but mostly useful. Save and loot these remaining stones, because what bad could possibly still happen at this point? There were only two more, right? So, pry it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, a fiery ruby. Hold on a second. Okay, so that's just for selling, and this is another thing to clutter up my inventory. Oh well, five percent recreation magical damage. Obviously, I uh, I want that. Needless to say. Nope. Okay, so the game basically warned me that there's going to be something in here. I mean, maybe it really is just... Oh, there's Rekus, okay. Rekus' lair. How bad is Rekus? Level 16. Um, no damage resistance. Quite a bit more health than the normal Drakes. And of course we're a short one party member. But I'm honestly I'm not too... Oh, also I did level up, didn't I? Yep, totally did. Level 16. Uh, so, I mean, mental magic up to 2 is kind of a given, so I can use terror again. No, that leaves me with... Wait, 8 points? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, of course. I can do math, I swear. Um, 
SS Mastery. I mean, that's getting really expensive. Also, I feel like we've reached a point where, um, I mean, obviously, the last tier of, of creations uh, is extremely expensive. So, since I probably want to eventually use Drakes myself, uh, more Essence would always be useful. But, um, well, we'll see. First of all, I think I want to invest in some more basic skills, for what it's worth. Um, right, so Metal Magic up to two. Obviously, I will have to bring up all magics. Well, both mental and uh, battle and mental, and I guess also healing craft to level three uh, to be able to cast the final spells in each school. For mental magic, that would be dominate, which you know is I don't know. I, I guess I could do without that one, honestly. Although I'm sure it's quite powerful. For battle magic, it's uh, is it hellfire or something like that? Some some other stronger AOE spell, which I could probably also do without. But I mean. I'm probably going to get both of them after, uh, anyway. So eventually I'll want to invest in that, but for the time being I think I want to... Uh, I could increase magic shaping. And that would still give, uh, leave me with enough to increase healing craft just so I can, uh, you know, just so I have it at level 3, which should be enough for the mass healing spell, which I definitely want. Hmm. Yeah, I mean... I buffed half my party last time by increasing fire shaping. I think I'm going to buff the other half now. And yeah, sure, why not? This should be useful. I mean, at this point, it only... Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Oh, wow, we actually saw an update. I guess after an in-game turn passed. That's why... why it didn't happen immediately. Interesting. Okay, so... Yeah, Audi just gained five hit points and, of course, an extra level, which means better hit chance, better damage, everything. So, uh, and once we have Nira back with us, she's also going to be a little bit stronger. So that's nice. Um, right. As for Rekus, um, hmm, was it Shaper? Uh, I mean, I I don't really. Feel like I need to attack her? Oh, not so much you. Do your worst. I will if you survive. I will speak with you again. I mean, I, I did survive. I am speaking with you again. Hmm. Let's say here. Drake Warren. Okay. Rekus clears her throat. Stop, Shaper. I will not tolerate, out, to tolerate outsiders approaching my horde. Oh, so you have your horde, huh? I mean, you haven't been exactly friendly. You have traded with me, but. Can I actually? Hold on. Uh, trade with you. Nope. The other kind of trade. I want to sell something. Oh, it's not much, but. Hmm. What the heck, right? Hot of Ruckus. Intruders will be slain. We'll see about that. What? You angry now? You mad? Okay. That hurt a little bit. Not gonna lie. That's a miss. That's another miss. Uh, okay. Well, that's what I get. Terror resisted. It's only a 30% chance though, so... Really? Okay. Oh, go Artie. Bite her. Okay, decided to attack me. That's fine. What do you like fireballs? Well, probably not very much if they hit. Okay. I mean, sorry, not sorry. She was a jerk. Not exactly deserving of any... Um, mercy. Charm Falcon. Oh, okay. So she dropped that. Yeah, I mean, obviously that's never going to be useful to me, so I'll just sell that. A Thorn Baton. Eh. We have the Venom Baton for when I really want to use one. Iron Swords. Okay. And is there anything in the actual horde that, that was worth murdering her for? Well, money. That's always good. 
and ice and crystals, which is almost as good as money, not really, because there is limited supply. Regus has converted this old crypt into a makeshift treasure room. The bones of those buried here have been discarded on the floor. Okay, so, yeah. That's pretty disrespectful, honestly. So she's certainly not particularly nice. Which, of course, as always, justifies retroactively <laughs> justifies killing her. Uh, anyway, crystal, spray crystal, yes, we are keeping those. And no money in this one. Braces of the hammer. Strength and quick action. Certainly not bad for a physical attacker. But then, well, I guess if you're really not using creations, then these are better than the helix bracer, but obviously not for me. And they're also worth a ridiculous 3,000, which I'm never going to get from anyone, but, you know. Uh, restoration pod, okay. Two of those now. Well, I guess that was, at least it was worthwhile in, in terms of the loot we got out of it. So uh, there's that. Right, we also found the the um, second of who knows how many of these weird crescent orbs. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of guessing that there's only the two of them, although there might be more. And as I said, um, I definitely feel like uh, picking up the other one and heading back into the Shaper Crypt. I mean, I not exactly feel like doing that, because it's going to suck. But I feel at least relatively confident that it, uh, you know, that I can actually do something there. And um, yeah, we'll see. Either there's going to be some kind of room uh, behind those, behind that door, or there's going to be a way to another area somewhere around here. We'll see. We also obviously have found the, uh, the strange pylon here, the what seems to be the first one in the sequence. So I guess I could try. I, well, the first idea is of course to start going south from here. I could uh, actually. I mean, they kind of form. I still don't know what what what's up with the ones in the junkyard and the dry waste. Of course, that's. The last mystery at this point, other than there possibly being even more undiscovered pylons. I mean, if there is an area here, there could very well be a pylon in there, um, for example. But anyway, um, I guess I'm first going to try uh, going south from here. So Ancient Crypt, Valley of the Moon. I'm still, I still assume that the, spirits, the one in the Spirit City is the final one, because, I don't know, it, it just seems to be the case. In which case, of course, the, the whole north-south thing doesn't really matter. Maybe it just gives you the first one. Maybe they're they're facing north from here because the first one, the one to start with, is north of here. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's kind of a stretch. Honestly, that might be a different pattern. Maybe it, maybe you are supposed to, to go on a, on a journey. So you start here, start in the north. Maybe that's it. Starting position is north, and then you go, you know, around. Ancient Crypt, Diarazad, then technically it wouldn't make a lot of sense if I could interact with the Junkyard and the Dry Wastes, and then Western Wastes, Valley of the Wind, and then finally Spirit City. I mean, I guess off camera I'm going to try again, of course skipping these two because I just can't do anything with them. I might still be missing something. Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm going to try the, you know, try interacting with the ones that I can, starting with this one. And I, I guess I'll know if the next one is correct when it doesn't uh, give me a shock, right? That's it's going to be... And as soon as I do get a shock, I know I, I did something wrong. So, at this, in, this, um, in this way, finding this one was, was huge because it confirmed that uh, there is a, a different reaction when you're doing it right, right. Or at least there is a different reaction. So, getting the shock is definitely not correct, um, as I was already suspecting. Right. Also... Finally, we're going to take a look at... Oh, really? So there is an, an area in between. I was not expecting that at all. That is interesting. Sentinels. Right. Uh, so the, the hermit said that he never went this way because of the ghosts, right? Or the spirits. So maybe the spirits... I, I thought that the temple was going to be full of spirits, which would make sense, I guess, for an old for an old temple in a fantasy setting. Um, but maybe the spirits are actually just here. And also, of course, this is yet another area that could potentially have a pylon, even if it's uh, completely indoors. 
Well, um, this area actually gave me gave me a lot. Obviously, um, a lot of money, experience, uh, the pylon, the the orb that might open the way in the shaper crypt, which would be amazing. Um, an extra point of leadership, even though it cost me a lot. Um, am I forgetting anything? Some some lore, I guess. Um, access to another area. Uh, yeah, I really can't complain. Can't complain at all. Um, and I think I'm going to call an episode here. Definitely not going to start anything new. I, I, I would say that I learned my lesson last time, but I mean, it's probably going to happen again in the future. That I just, you know, keep going when I really should be stopping. But not today. Um, so in the meantime, I'm going to, well, restore my party and maybe experiment a little bit more with the pylons now that I know that, um, you know, now that I will know whether I got the right one in the sequence, the right next one, or not. Um, and if I can figure it out, great. If not, I guess I'll just, I'll keep waiting until I, you know, discover more. Uh, and I'm probably also going to pick up those orbs and head back into the Shaper Crypt to see if I can open the way. So um, stay tuned for next time when I will report my success or lack thereof. For the time being, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.